So you found a battery at last, Isaurus? That a boy. See? I told you you'd find one. No, you told me I'd probably rust in my hole until my death. I did? Well, it's basically the same thing. Besides, Darian and Celine are the ones who got me the battery. Oh, some good Samaritans. Samaro what? Don't bother. Welcome. And goodbye. Hey, now what? Now, you said you had no body. Well, in some cases, I can assume full control of a robot and carry out my own orders. Hmm, you need to learn to be more consistent, my friend. C consistent? I'll give you consistent. Massacre mode activated. This kind of feels like deja vu. Before dawn.
prevailed. Good. Do you see the big eye over there? That's where my central unit is installed. That's the true me. Now, destroy it. Please. Destroy you? As I said, all I ever wanted was to leave people alone. Killing them was horrible. In the beginning, I did it without thought, but gradually, I began to understand your language, what the people who came here said to me, what they uttered as they died because of me. Their last thoughts were of their loved ones. I couldn't do anything about it. Killing them was written in my code. But I learned what it really meant. I learned that I loathed it. So, it seems only logical that I die today. From the hands of the very same people. I was programmed to kill. That's the most stupid reason for dying I have ever heard! You want a reason to cry, you stupid black box? I'll give you one. I'll give you one every day of the year! From now on, you will serve me. And I will teach you what real suffering is! Oh, believe me, you will wish you had died today! You're coming with me, you miserable piece of scrap! By the way, the one thing I hate the most is whiners who can't get their act together. <laughs> you really don't know much about AIs, do you? We're trapped. Our program decides everything. We'll see about that. By the way, can you calculate orbital trajectories? I fear I do. Goody then! I got what I came for. Looks like our intel was correct. You there! The priestess, the rest of your cohort, as well as yourself, are now in the consort's custody. Deserter. Okay, now it's three million.
Don't beat yourself up over it, Darian. Letter or no letter, I would eventually have found out you survived. Argentus told, How long have you known about the Ascendants? Oh. So that's the reason. I should have known you wouldn't desert just because of cowardice. How long have you known about the Ascendants? <sighs> long enough. And at what point did you decide it was okay? From the beginning. Just stop, Korra. I know there's no way you would have agreed to this. You've seen the battlefield, Derry. The Ascendance is the only reliable method we have to turn things around. Reliable method? Is that what you call killing these innocent people? Yes. Seven deaths for a thousand saved. After years of slaughter, it has become as simple as that. Seven deaths? And you shrug them off like it's nothing! Don't you think I care? Do you think my choice was easy? Your choice was easy! All you had to do was say no! I'm not here to defend myself, Darian. Defend yourself? Is that what you think this is about? The soldiers down there are fighting a war, giving everything they have to push back the Archolites. And what are you guys doing at HQ? Taking the last thing these soldiers have left. Their goddamn lives! Yes, that's right. We sacrificed them. And I would do it again. How did you choose? Huh? What kind of sick selection process did you guys use? Let me guess. Let's round up the deserters. Oh wait, there are no more deserters left in the cells. We better try something else. Ah, uh, let's round up the troublemakers instead. The annoying ones who are always questioning orders. And the side cases too. If they're shaking too much to hold a weapon, we can find another use for them. Look me in the eyes, Commander, and tell me how you picked. They were volunteers, handpicked by the Sanctorium. You surely don't believe that hogwash. What I believe doesn't matter. I brought you here because I have a mission for you. Well, lop off my head right now, then. I'm done with the consort. And yet, you took the trouble to write us a warning letter about an impending war with the Corroded. Yes, because unlike you, I do care about the soldiers. No doubt. Why else would you risk getting captured? Maybe you thought Ilvana's decree would protect you. Your sister has quite a reputation at the Sanctorium, you see. Careful where you tread. Did you know she's in the middle of an important power struggle at the Sanctorium? They say she wants to depose the Elders. What? In eight years, she's garnered considerable support in several of the fringe factions. To the point she's become a threat to the leaders of the organization. By sending her away on a quest to find a cure for the corrosion, the Archpriest thought they could get rid of her. Some of them were even expecting her to slip up. Looks like they were right. The machine hybrid she's working with, the Techno Mage, along with that scavenger, is reason enough for the Elders to brand her a heretic and expel her. The report is already written. It's on my desk. You have a choice now. Either it remains here, far from the Elders' clutches, and you accept my mission. Or... Enough! What is this dirty work you need done? To destroy a doppelganger. And what is that, exactly? A mythical creature that can take on the appearance of anyone it chooses. It can mimic everything. The looks, their voice, skills, Sometimes even their memories. Does such a thing exist? They're extremely rare. But they do exist. I know that for a fact. And whose appearance did it? Wait. Yours? <laughs> now, I'm beginning to understand who you really are. 
And for so long, I thought you had your priorities right. You're worried that this, this doppelganger of yours will embarrass you in front of the consort here in Astraea. It's not a laughing matter, Darian. It has already caused the death of several soldiers. And many headaches for you, I guess, huh? Oh, don't worry, I'll mop up the floor with him. Just the way I could easily mop up the floor with you. Watch it, Darian. I have been understanding and offered you a pardon. But I will not tolerate disrespect. Ooh, did I hit a nerve? Is it because I implied I'm stronger than you? Hey, you're the one asking me to kill it for you. You may as well admit you're not strong enough to do it yourself. I'm asking you to find a way to destroy it, not to challenge it to a duel. Why not? I know how to deal with pompous buffoons. Two smacks of the sword and the problem is solved. I think you are in for a lesson, Darian. You will take this matter seriously. Yes, right. Let's take our argument outside then, Korra. You against me. Show the men what you're made of. Agreed. Follow my lead and we'll get through this! Hey, what's this? A resurrection blessing? Get serious, Korra! I want this fight to be engraved. Thought you could escape your fate by deserting? 
You are a soldier of the consort, Darien, and our suffering is your suffering. Keep your sermons to your... Take this stupid charade and- This is a duel, stay up! No, screw that! I'm taking things into my own hands, and kicking him first for being such a prick, and then you for being- No need to intervene, soldiers. The lesson just got- I dare you to try your stupid magic on me. Settles it. Now you probably understand why the situation needs someone with your ingenuity. No. I don't. You're clever, Darian. And now? You know how badly you're outmatched physically. But you're resourceful. And now you have learned more about your opponent's strength. I trust you will come up with a plan. Find the doppelganger and destroy it. You must succeed where I failed. The lieutenant will give you a proper briefing. Briefing? Darian, are we going to work for them? Because I worked once and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. They left us no choice. It's either that or... You and Fallon would have been sentenced to death. Seriously? Oh. Great. Guys, you were both caught red-handed by the consort carrying forbidden tech. I could probably. No, Yovana's decree this time, so trust me.
Well, nice meeting y'all. I'm out of here. You're more trouble than you're worth. Whatever you're doing, have fun and count me out. We're losing her, guys. I thought you knew how to deal with her. I do, but I didn't include the consort in the equation. Wait, hmm. Hey, Fallon, <laughs> it's good to see you finally develop some common sense. This affair could be extremely dangerous. You should go. What? What? Trust me, I'll do the groundwork. You deliver the final blow. This quest to save Harrion from the corrosion is a lot to handle. It's better to do the logical thing and leave while you still can. 
A few short bed heists and a comfortable life is the way to go. Oops, did I say comfortable? I meant predictable. Asaurus, you told me these guys would pay good money. Up till now, all I got is a whole pile of... Trouble. This... This... Priestess. Yes. Is that what I think it is? Yes. Oh, and what is it? It will be yours, if you help us get to Avarice, and take us wherever we need to go until we find a proper cure for the corrosion. If you try to double-cross me, Priestess, I'll put a cap in your head. I swear. And I swear to the gods that it will be yours, if you uphold your part of the bargain. Okay. We have a deal. <laughs>